Hump Day Cardinal crew and welcome to the Cardinal Boardroom. Uh, this is Natalie Pollard again with the Yateman Group of Long and Foster for another episode of Who Dat Cardinal. So today's lucky cardinal that you guys are going to be learning about, you guys are definitely familiar with him, but what you might not be familiar with is his taste for vehicles. This cardinal is a cardinal card lover. So let's see who that lucky cardinal is. Who dat cardinal? It's Mike! Hi, I'm Mike Collins, but you probably know that by now. We're gonna do a little Q&A with our good friend, Natalie. This should be exciting, or boring, or both. We'll see. Most people know me for being a bit of a vehicle enthusiast. Yeah, I, I, prior to joining this crazy, uh, this crazy group of people, I was in the auto industry for about 13 years. I uh, worked for a few different um, high-end automobile car companies and had a great time. And over the years have kind of picked up a car or two or eight at one point uh, here or there. Exciting stuff. My first car, the first car that was uh, my car was a 1992 Ford Explorer uh, Limited in metallic purple. It was awesome. Before I had the Explorer, I was driving around my mom's Dodge Grand Caravan. Awesome car. I broke the axle in that um, because apparently it doesn't like when you stop on the gas really hard. Sorry, oh. mom. How many cars have I broken? Oh. Uh, more than more than one handful of We'll leave it at that. Ooh, my dream car? It's a great question. Um, if I had to pick one car, it would be a Pagani Zonda C12 S. I would say getting them to work uh, is, is a very satisfying part when, they, when I get them and they don't work. And then when I fiddle with them, they do work. I like that. I got into the hobby when Kind of when I was a kid, um, I've always been into cars, but when I was in college, I was waiting tables and someone said, hey, they're opening up a, a CarMax. I worked at CarMax. Uh, that was my first full-time job in the auto industry. And you should apply. And I said, okay. So I did, and that's when I started selling cars. And I, when I was at CarMax, I bought a number of vehicles and got most of them working. And uh, yeah, and it's just been, been fun to kind of rotate through cars over the years. That would be that would be a 2003 Audi RS6. Actually, no, I take that back. That's not true at all. I'm sorry. I had to I had an opportunity to help a friend fix his Ferrari uh, 328 GTS that broke down, and I was able to help him get it going again. And that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, the most overrated car is the Jeep Wrangler, but I kind of want one, so I get it. But they're still overrated. Like the new Gladiator, everyone was made such a big stink about that. But yeah, I do kind of want one because they're cool. Play with my kids. They're fun. I got a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and they're an absolute riot. And I volunteer uh, for a group called Rise, Rise RVA. Link in the description. It is a group of people uh, and what we do is we get together with kids from a few different schools in Richmond Public Schools and we take them rock climbing and the idea is that they usually wouldn't have an opportunity to go rock climbing and a lot of times they don't have an opportunity to do a whole lot of stuff outside the classroom or you know kind of hands-on adventure kind of stuff and it's really kind of cool we do it over at Triangle Rock Club it's a, it's a great great organization donate below and then every year the last two years I've been participating in something called the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, which is another sort of like charity organization and all the proceeds from donations go towards uh, mental health awareness and uh, prostate cancer research, which is really cool. It's basically just an excuse for a bunch of people of all ages to, uh, to put on like an old timey outfit and ride their motorcycles. Last year, none of my motorcycles were running. Uh, by the time the event came around, but my moped, that's right, moped, 
my moped was running. So I, uh, the last like two days I threw a bunch of parts at it and just to kind of make it look a little neat. And I actually won best in show somehow. Um, I, I, I'm still flummoxed by that. Uh, but again, it's a great organization. Um, and last year they raised something like $10 million um, towards you know, mental health awareness and prostate cancer. It's gonna be a great, great group. Link to that below also. So a lot of people know that I'm into cars, uh, but not many people actually see me working on them or working on any of my projects. So here's a quick glimpse into my project cars and my garage. Uh, please excuse the mess. I promise I know where absolutely everything is in the garage. Kisses. Morning, Cardinal crew. It's uh, Mike Collins here. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my garage and some of the projects that I'm working on. So uh, we'll start over here. This is a 1993 uh, Mercedes 500 SL. It's, uh, it, was, it was a cool car way back in the day. I think it's still kind of cool. Pick this up for not a whole lot. And uh, just slowly kind of putting it back together. Got some, uh, got some snazzy wheels on it. I put yellow uh, lens covers on the fog lamps there because just because there's really no benefit. When the car first came to me, the, uh, the headliner was falling down pretty substantially. So I replaced that, did that myself. Suede, yeah, suede, eh, fancy. Um, what else? It's, it needs some work. There's, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's custom. It's custom duct tape holding it together. But other than that, it's pretty dope. Um, when you're driving a, an older vehicle, it always helps to have some vintage music to go along with it. So it's equipped with things like a boy named Goo, Ice T, OG, the good stuff. What else we got here? More, more Goo Goo dolls, and uh, obviously some. The hook brings you back, as we say. So go check out <clears throat> some of the other stuff that I've just got lying around my garage that Natalie has asked me to uh, to talk about. So, uh, so over here I've got a stack of tires from uh, that originally came from a Jeep Gladiator. I do not own a Jeep Gladiator, but they are going to go on another Jeep that I'm working on. Uh, let's see what else we got. Over here, over my shoulder, that's a 2010 uh, Kawasaki Ninja that I uh, picked up a couple years ago. And it's kind of looked like that for a couple years, but, but, we're close. I finally got the carbs back in. They're underneath there somewhere, over there. And uh, yeah, that should be should be running here in a couple weeks if all goes according to plan fingers crossed what else we have uh, there are more tires these are two a mercedes-benz metris uh, those are actually going to go on another car that i have which is not a metris there's uh, an engine stand over there the red thing right there that's an engine stand i just finished taking apart a mercedes m113k uh, which is a 500 horsepower supercharged v8 um, I took that apart because someone didn't want it, and I did. And so I've been in the process of eBaying all those parts. There's a whole stack of parts right here for that. And there's also some parts under there. This is a catastrophe, but believe it or not, there is a method to the madness here. Uh, I've got my uh, TV slash computer monitor hooked up to the computer sitting right over here. And then this is my wall of license plates. You can kind of see I've got had a few over the years. I have a problem. So we talked about this SL. There's also this SL. That's a 1981. The license plate is not moving, which in reality is probably not a great thing to have in the real estate world. But that license plate is actually changing to rad SL. Plates are on the way. What else? Um, one of the other cars we're working on here. That's a 1994 SL. That's actually 500, excuse me, SL 500 instead of 500 SL because you know you gotta change the name around. And then one of the other project vehicles that I'm working on, I say project vehicle, it runs and drives. They all run and drive, they're all fine, but some are more fine than others. Uh, this is my 1990 BMW. And yeah. Like I said, they all run, but some run better than others. They're all fun projects. There's there's more stuff kind of hidden around, but 
I think that's enough to bore you people for, uh, for one day. Thanks for joining me this morning, and hope you guys have a fantastic day. Are you waiting for me? Yeah, I'm in reverse. <laughs> Wait, are you waiting for me or you gotta say your part? No, it's just, it's fine. I don't okay. say it. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check my mirror. Oh, do you want to? I'm gonna throw it